Hey, what's up, my little title tells? How y'all doing today? Well, baby, if you are Jennifer Anderson, you are being rightly dragged all up and down Al Gore's internet. And baby, we are waiting for an apology on behalf of the black community. Y'all, what am I talking about? If you guys don't know, I did this post, which everybody's overlooking, not my post, but the fact that Jamie Foxx uh, basically said that, you know, if they blank, blank, I don't want to get demonetized. What you think they going to do to you? Now, I'm black. I don't know if you guys are black or have black friends. I know title tells coming black, white, Puerto Rican, um, Haitian and Asian, right? But at the end of the day, he put in hashtag fake friends. It was concerning because we're like, yo, what is going on with Jamie? He is recovering from a serious injury. He is still in a rehabilit rehabilitation thing. Don't forget when he went into that treatment facility, armed guards had to be sent to his hospital room because he said people were trying to off him. Well, guess what? In between that, we don't know if he was talking about this, which fake friend, but we found out who one of his fake friends are, and that's Miss Jennifer Aniston. Jennifer Aniston has since been a po uh, exposed as one of the biggest Karens out there. She is anti Meghan Markle. She has liked posts about Angelina um, being, mm -mm, you know, D D DV. She's just a piece of ish, right? And honestly, her face looks hateful. She just always gave me those type of vibes, right? She's very face. Mm, you know what? Let me shut up, but let's go, right? Jennifer Anna, look at this. The whole internet swarmed Jennifer Aniston for it, and she had the nerve to turn off her comments. Y'all, let's get into this, but it's not stopping because people are still eating her up on Twitter and Instagram before she um, turned her comments off. They said Jennifer Aniston has turned off her comments on her Instagram in the wake of a scandal surrounding Jamie Foxx's controversial Instagram post. The scandal erupted last week when Jamie took the photo sharing site, took to Instagram the photo sharing site, they cracked me up, to post an emotional message reading, they they deleted this dude named Jesus. What you think they going to do to you? Followed by the hashtag fake friends, hashtag fake love. Now get this. The, the thing was, as far as I know, right? Because i I'll be honest with you, I don't know many anti-Semitic. I don't know any anti-Semitic, right? So when I read that, being black, it's an old black saying. It means if people would betray Jesus and Judas, what do you think they're going to do you? They betrayed the son of God. What do you think they're going to do to you? You are nothing to them. That's what I took that to mean. Nobody was even thinking it was anti-anything, right? Until um, the post was liked by Jennifer Aniston who quickly acted to distance herself from the scandal. She created a post of her own to distance herself from the perceived contention, after which Jamie followed the statement clarifying he didn't have, he did not have the Jewish community in mind when he uploaded the note. Now, prior to turning off her comments, uh, uh, what is it? Jennifer Aniston quickly denounced the post and denied any connection to it on Instagram stories, writing, this makes me sick. I did not like this post on purpose or by accident. Okay, first of all, pause the story. Because here's the thing everybody's missing. I know and you know that Jamie didn't mean it to be anti. He was talking about some fake friends, the Judas around him. Okay, maybe he's talking about Jennifer Aniston. But let's be real. You read that post, Jennifer. And judging by your reaction, you thought it was anti-Semitic. I'm going to give y'all Jennifer's reaction in a second. You thought it was anti-Semitic and you liked it. And then when people called you out, you tried to throw Jamie under the bus. Jamie under the bus. Let's get into this, right? So she screenshotted it and put, this really makes me sick. I did not like this post on purpose or by accident. And more importantly, I want to be clear to my friends or anyone hurt by the showing up in their feeds. I do not support any form of anti-Semitism and I truly don't tolerate hate of any kind, period. Okay, but if you thought this was anti, why'd you like it? Because like you said, you didn't like the po post on purpose or by accident. So how did it get your like? Because you did like it. People had the screenshots. So can you tell me how it got your like? 
if you didn't do it on purpose on on accident listen so jamie so this is what jennifer did jennifer who is anti mega markle because she thinks that Megan and all her mixed glories and it shouldn't be messing with Prince Harry. Jennifer, Prince Harry damn sure wasn't looking at you. I'm just saying, not with that chin. But anyway, let's stick to the facts, right? Now, Jennifer's like, oh my God, but Jamie Foxx was a close friend. I can't believe he would do this. If he was such a close friend or even anyone you were cool with and you saw somebody that you were cool with who you know is actively in a rehabilitation center just suffered a traumatic brain injury and trying to regain his way back to health if you saw one of your friends walling out or even suspect that they were walling out what's the first thing you would do no honestly what's the first thing you would do the most first thing most people would do with friends instead of jennifer's the one that rang the alarm bell when people are like huh jamie's anti you would have texted your friend and been like yo did you know what you just posted you would at least clarify that he knew what he was posting. Yo, did, what, what did you mean by that? You would have at least said something. What did Jennifer do? She literally took this opportunity to throw Jamie under the bus. Y'all, listen, she said, more importantly, she said, and more importantly, I want to be clear to my friends and anyone hurt by the showing up in their feeds. I do not support any form of anti-Semitism and I truly don't tolerate. Can you believe this? So Jamie jumped in and he said, I want to apologize to the Jewish community and to everyone who was offended by my post. I know my words of choice have caused offense and I'm sorry this was never my intent. To clarify, I was betrayed by a fake friend and that's what I meant with they not anything more I only have love in my heart for everyone he said I love and support the Jewish community my deepest apologies to anyone who was offended nothing but love always Jamie Foxx Jennifer Aniston is such a Karen seriously it she's been she's miserable miserable but more importantly a slew of celebrities friends and fans came to Jamie's defense after he apologized Winnie Harlow jumped in there. She's the model. And literally said, um, I'm so confused. It's clear what you're saying. Everybody on Black Twitter was like, what are you talking about? This is an old Southern statement. I think a lot of people didn't know that this was co-opted by white national, right? But now that we know, it's like, oh, okay. But when Jamie put hashtag fake friends and hashtag and said they, why would Jennifer assume they were talking about Jewish people? Is Jennifer, Jennifer's not Jewish? Mm, hit dogs are gonna holler. Anyway, right? And by hit dogs are gonna holler, I mean like, I think Jennifer. It's funny how Jennifer knew that. Mm, anyway, Jennifer might be the one with the anti that the National Defamation League should be looking at. Anyway, right? Um, Many believe that Jamie was pressured to issue an unwarranted apology. Farrell, the community, the comedian wrote, when you have to apologize for the truth, your voice is the minority, right? While Kenya Barris wrote, love you, bro, waiting on you. And Waka Flocka said, this is so cap. Meanwhile, the national director and CEO of the Anti-Defamation League, Jonathan Greenblatt, tweeted a thank you apology to Jamie for his apology, saying we welcome Jamie's apology and thank him for his clarification. Further, we wish him well as he recovers on his prior hospital hospitalization. Again, like someone said, any black person growing up in the South will tell you that Jamie Foxx wasn't referring to uh, Jewish people. He meant if Jewish, if Jesus can be betrayed, so can you. This is such a reach, it's ridiculous. Let me tell y'all something though. You know what? I don't think it's fair. I don't think it's fair that Jennifer Aniston um, literally uh, put this up for her 42 million Instagram followers, made everybody believe for a second, at least her followers, that Jamie Foxx, there was something wrong with him, and he was um, anti-semi on some Kanye West that Jennifer thought that she was going to destroy Jamie Foxx's career all the while saying he's a close friend I don't know why he would say that while not saying two words to him and now that that's done Jamie Foxx is the one that had to apologize Jennifer Garner left the post I'm sorry Jennifer Aniston left the post up Jennifer Garner is another one with that Regina King but we'll talk about that later Jennifer Aniston left that post up on her feed and turned the comments off 
Listen, Jennifer Aniston needs to apologize to Jamie Foxx, 100%. She needs to apologize to Jamie Foxx and she needs to do it loudly and publicly. I knew there was something wrong with that woman. I could tell by her chin and her unfunny acting on Friends. Y'all, let me know what you think about this. I'll let y'all know. Let's hope Jamie responds to Jennifer or Jennifer at least has the God-given grace to have some shame for her trying to ruin this person, but she won't. She won't. I'm telling y'all, and I don't want to hear that Jennifer donates to Black Lives Matter. Baby, we all know people that marry in the families of people they don't like. Let me know in the comments of what y'all think. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.